Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here. Just got to seeing Elysium, the new Matt Damon film, you know, the science fiction film from the director of District 9, which District 9 I really, really liked. And I really like this one as well. There are some, a couple, like, rocky aspects of the movie, a little couple slow parts of it. But the end, like, the last... 20, 30 minutes were really good, and the beginning was good. In the middle, like, the, the middle act of the movie, it's a little rocky with some of the stuff, and it kind of started off a little bit cooler with kind of having a vibe of an old-school, like, Blade Runner kind of science fiction with some of the music and things like that. I also kind of felt like they didn't explore a couple things that would have been kind of cool to, you know, a couple little aspects to, to get into a little bit more. But the basic idea is it's Matt Damon and, you know, it's in the future. And in the future, the Earth is totally overpopulated and all the rich people go up to this spaceship kind of world where it's like, looks like Earth. Kind of reminds me of something out of like Star Trek, Next Generation, like kind of like those planets they went to mixed with like the future of like Bill and Ted's bogus journey in the beginning, like kind of like that. And it's like they have grass and all this kind of stuff, but it's all in an space in a spaceship so you know the rich people live up there and they have the ability to cure all diseases with this machine and you know everything is curable pretty much you know you can have anything happen can be fixed uh matt damon's on earth and he works you know in a job you know doing like building the robots are actually like you know taking over and like controlling the population on earth and he ends up having an accident there which gets him exposed to radiation and he has to you know, the only way to survive is to get up to Elysium and, you know, get cured. But, you know, if anyone tries to go up there, uh, Jodie Foster's character controls, like, anyone that comes up there and blows up the ships, and it's impossible to get up there, and you need to have an ID and all these kind of things. And he ends up making a deal with these people that if he puts this thing in his mind to collect information from a rich person that's on Earth, you know, at one of the factories where he works at, if he ends up going after him and collecting the data from him through his mind and getting bank codes and all these kind of things to the person's money, then he's going to get a ticket up there. And it's kind of about all the problems that are going on with this. And the one guy who was in District 9 plays Kruger, and that was a very, very cool character, and he's kind of after him. And there's a whole lot of things happening. A couple of things get mildly kind of jumbled up a little bit in the middle. Like I said, just some of it just wasn't perfect. It, it had that District 9 feel to that kind of uh, shaky cam kind of... It was shot the same way. The robots look a lot like in District 9. Really did enjoy it, though. But like I said, though, it wasn't an absolutely perfect movie. I thought that everybody did a good job. I thought Matt Damon, for a different kind of part, which was, you know, a little bit, a little, little bit different for him. I thought he did a really good job. And also, the movie is very violent. You could, I, I guess they were trying to hold out to see if they could make it PG-13. That's why the rating took so long to come out. But it is extremely violent. R-rated movie with some really pretty cool effects, like the CGI in this, which a lot of it was CGI, it was very well done. There's one healing scene, which is extremely, really, really well done. Reminds me a little bit of some of those 80s, I don't want to ruin what it is, but it kind of like old school effects, the way they did it, mixed with computers, which is very good. I would definitely recommend people see it. It's a fun sci-fi film, probably out of five stars, I would say. Probably three and a half. I would not say it's absolutely perfect. I, I think I like District 9 a little bit better. Um, District 9 was really took me off guard with how much I really liked that one. But definitely would recommend seeing this one. Anyway, though, guys, thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Be on the lookout for my uh, new DVD Blu-ray update this weekend. And, of course, August 22nd on Sci-Fi. Be, be sure to watch Ghost Shark to see me in the film. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.